I have two presentations tomorrow. One is on annual bearing, which gets into the problem of alternate bearing, the production of a high yield followed by a low yield that repeats in a cycle year after year once it's initiated and how we can solve that problem. Well, for alternate bearing, I would say the main takeaway lesson is that you need to balance bearing sheets and non-bearing sheets on a tree. So alternate bearing disrupts that balance and you end up with a lot of bearing sheets one year and no non-bearing sheets to produce inflorescences the next year. So the goal is to bring back that balance. And then once you have that balance back to maintain it year after year, so you have maximum yield of good sized fruit. Pruning. Pruning and then supplementing that with definitely with proper fertilization and possibly the use of plant growth regulators. We are developing a, an approach that uses plant growth regulators that actually overcomes the negative effect of the fruit um, that reduces flowering. So one of the negative effects of the fruit is to reduce summer vegetative shoot growth in the on-crop year. And for avocado, that means that you lose 60 to 70% of the inflorescences the following year. Yes, because it reduces the number of vegetative shoots that are produced in the summer. And that is contributing 60 to 70% of the inflorescences. The spring shoots only contribute 30%, the fall shoots zero to 10%. So you need that summer vegetative shoot flush. And so we have a plant growth regulator treatment that will actually overcome that inhibition and support summer vegetative shoot growth. Based on known plant growth regulators and also some new ones that we've been developing that are natural products so that they could be used in organic groves. Um, and one of the very effective oxen transport inhibitors, which is part of the strategy for mitigating alternate bearing, is a compound that will never be registered for use on avocados. So we've had to come up with a substitute material and we're working on developing that. With, the university has already patented it and licensed it to a commercial company. I don't want to tell you the material, right. um, but I can tell you the cytokinin uh, because that's already contained in a product. So we developed the use, or I say, I say I developed the use of adenosine. Adenosine is a, a precursor of cytokinin biosynthesis. It's also a precursor of the base molecules in DNA and RNA and ATP, the energy currency in the plant. So when you use this material, you increase the synthesis of cytokinins and you also increase ATP and you have the precursors there necessary to synthesize new DNA during cell division and RNA for protein biosynthesis.